Hello everyone, welcome back to Jack Scraps and thanks for joining me. Today is day nine of our Crafter's Companion Advent Calendar. How are you guys doing? Are you liking this series? Please let me know because there are times when I'm thinking about opening all of them and then seeing what I can create because it seems like when I get a die one day, the next day I get one that I could have used with the day previously. But anyways, all right, let me know. I'm gonna keep going in the meantime. So let's get to it. I did want to give you just a quick look at all of the dies that we've received so far. I have them on this magnetic piece that I got from Home Depot. So we're doing pretty good. Let's get this open. And day nine is what we're looking for. Right here is day nine. I've lost my trusty tool. Oh, here it is. All right. Ooh, puppies. Oh, it's a rose, or at least it looks like a rose. Ooh, that ought to be pretty. All right, well, I'll get crafting and I'll be back. Okay, so I took the die that we got for day nine and I wanted to see what it would look like so I ran it through my um, die cutting machine and this is it. It's really just a skeleton of a rose and um, greenery. It's really cute but it's so delicate. I mean very delicate. So I made a couple things to show you how to use them. Uh, one of the things I created was this little pocket with the little slots in it, and it isn't the Tim Holtz stitched slots because I don't have that die. So in Cricut Design Space, I actually created my own. So I mirrored it like Tim Holtz, of course, but um, this was done in Cricut Design Space. So what I did here was I took the skeleton of the rose, I took the die, and took the paper that I used, I traced around it, and then I cut it out so that I could actually back the skeleton. So that's what I've done here, is back the little flower die, and then I used Bloom Street for all of the crafts I'm showing you today, and so I did some stacking of the floral pieces in the Bloom Street collection. I added some other pieces from Bloom Street, a couple tags, like here's one, there's an index card that says keep, keep life simple. And then back here, I created a tag. Now this piece has acetate on it and I added the flower die there. And then underneath is the Bloom Street paper. So you could actually lift this up, put a photo here or right here. I kind of like that idea. And then I added this charm, butterfly charm that I got from the dollar general, believe it or not. Really cute. So those are a couple things that I created, but here's that little slotted pocket that I created. And then these just slip right in there. And here's the little tag. The next thing that I created was a shaker. This what I did was, remember I um, in my haul I showed this page from Page Ovens, Bloom Street. These are all seed packet labels and I just love them. So I took one of them out that said roses on it. I cut it down and this outer piece was a frame in the Bloom Street collection. I added some uh, thick foam in between the layers, added my sequins that I've been hauling and then put a the die cut, you know, the die cut here. I just glued that on the front of the shaker, added some seam binding here. And I think it turned out really cute. I love it. So those are the projects that I created with the die for today. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.